Okay, so part five, working with queries. It says some customers have paid and are still waiting for their orders to ship. Not good for business. So it tells you what to name the, the query and um, the, the fields that should be displayed. Um, so what we're looking for here is if the customer's paid but has not shipped. Okay, so let's go to query design. We can also do query wizard, but I usually like using the query design better. Um, add both these tables, the customer and the order table. Okay, so we want the customer ID, it says. It also says the date of the order, date entered, first name, last name, and it says the ship and paid fields should not appear on the query but we still need that information to know whether or not uh, the customer has paid but it has not shipped yet. So it says show here. I'm going to unclick this. And then what's our cr criteria? Well we want to know if the customer has paid, so it would be yes, and uh, shipped would be no. So then we would run this, and this is the information that should uh, be returned. Okay, now we would uh, save that particular query, and it says to name it query paid not shipped. Okay, so that's the first part. Okay, so part two it says we want to know the well, this is actually part five, but the second part of this. We want to know the retail price statistics for each price category. And so it's asking for the maximum, the minimum, and the average retail price of uh, the products by category. Okay, so I'm going to go query design. And what would we use? We would use the inventory. I'll make this a little bigger. And so I'm going to say category. Just drag and drop this. And then we're looking for information uh, related to the uh, retail price. Here we go. And I can just double click this also rather than drag and drop. And so it wants the max, min, and average. I'm going to click this two more times. Okay, so how do we get the um, max, min, and average for the totals? So. Then we go, um, this says max, this is going to be the average, and this is going to be the min. But right now we have all the fields would be you know, retail, retail, retail. I'm going to make a little bit more descriptive. I'm going to call this maximum. Oops. I'm going to call this average. I'm going to call this minimum. Okay, and this looks correct. So then I'm going to run this. This is the information that you should get. Okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to save it. And so this should be called query category price. 